Good morning everybody. I have just had my usual Asda weekly food shop. So let's get straight into it and I'll show you what we've got. So first of all, we've got these Restaurante Hawaiian pizzas. I've got two of those. I think I'll give these the girls for lunch today and I've also got my cousin and her son come in. So I think I'll just cut these up. They can share that. I've got some garlic bread. So I do pizza and garlic bread for today's lunch. Then I used a couple of bags of that through the week, so I just wanted to replenish that. So I always get the ones with the sweet corn, broccoli and carrots. They're really nice and even Sophie like loves the little carrots in there and stuff. So really nice they are and quick and easy. Two bags cook in four minutes or something, so really nice and quick. Then on to meat, I've got the usual thigh fillets. I haven't really meal planned this week. So I don't know what that's going to be for. These, really, really nice. Had these the other week. Chicken on crute, really, really tasty. So we'll do them with most probably with some potato wedges and vegetables. That will do a chicken and rice most probably. Or I could do a chicken curry with that. Sorry, had to stop the camera. My cousin and her boy turned up, so I had to answer the door. Where did I get to? I think I'd mentioned those last and then I got uh, a pork joint so small that will just do me and the three girls so because Ava loves it Ava must eat half of that to herself I know that's a lot for a five-year-old but she loves meat so I'll definitely do a roast with that chicken on croup with potato wedges I think I've got some parmesan in the fridge actually I might grate that on top of some of the wedges and cook them in the oven. They're really nice. Martin did them for me the other week and they were so tasty. Yeah, and then I was saying that'll do a chicken curry maybe or sticky chicken with rice. Then this came, corned beef. And I think it was meant to be a pack of chicken, but I don't remember seeing that as a substitute. So I don't know. Maybe it was a substitute and I've just missed it. So corned beef, but that's fine. I can eat that. I'm not sure if the girls will eat that or not. And then just um, a pack of ham. Then I needed some more mature white cheddar. Then onto uh, potatoes. I've got the big bag of jacket potatoes. Asparagus, love asparagus. Um, and I got two lots of these this week because Livy especially loves a corn on the cob. But even Sophie likes that. I just like use a knife and cut cut it off she loves it they're so much nicer on the cob they're much sweeter i think and i think that's mostly why the girls like them so much then on to fruit i got a pack of apples sorry i couldn't get my words out then those are bananas from last week they're not in this week's shop then i got the big planet of strawberries we've actually still got a few strawberries left which is a surprise usually we go through them in days then i've got two planets of raspberries and then watermelon fans then we've got some butter these were on offer for a pound I think they're usually 180 so I thought I might as well buy two lots whilst they're on offer I always buy clover light then I needed some more oil I know not the best but they do make the best roast potatoes if you cook them in proper oil then I got two lots of sage and onion stuff in they'll just be in the cupboard um, and I'll save them for a roast when Martin's home so I've got two boxes of that and it's really, really nice. Do it with, I put loads of butter in it. I know it's really bad. You can tell what I'm fat, can't you? But put loads of butter in this and it makes it really nice. Then I got two lots of coleslaw. The girls love in this in sandwiches. So we go through that very quickly. So um, I've got two lots of that. And this is the one I like, the extra special one. Um, really nice in wraps and sandwiches juice still can't get hold of any juice but um i thought i'd try them with this pink grapefruit and barley not sure how that's going to go down but they can try it we'll see how it goes then i got two lots of these betty crocker gooey salted caramel brownie mixes these are really really nice martin loves it when i make these up and i just thought it'd be a nice activity to do over the weekend with the girls my dish that i cook it in is quite big that's why i buy two i um do the two packs together and put it in a cake tin so it comes out more like a cake but obviously they are brownies nice and gooey then on to bread just a normal white loaf of bread that I get every week 
one packet of the crepes, one packet of plain mini wraps for packed lunches. The girls are back to school next week, so they'll do for packed lunches. I've had to send my wraps back. They sent those wheat and white ones again, and I didn't like them last week, so I sent them back this week. Um, then these were a substitute as well. I ordered Belgian buns, but I got two cinnamon buns instead, but that's fine. I like cinnamon, so I'm sure. Oh no, I've only got one replacement. That's what I ordered. Two of those, but I've got one of each, but that's fine. I'll like those anyway, and the girls will eat those as well. Then I just got some cereal bars because they're quick and easy for school runs, like in the mornings because they dawdle like all kids. Some more decaf tea. Then back here I've got packed lunchy bits. So I've got the usual crisps. So I've got crispy fries, discos and cheese wiggles. Then I got two packs of five cartons of juice. They can go in the girls' pet lunches. So this one is apple and mango and that one is black currant, is it? An apple? Apple and black currant, yeah. It's upside down. Um, these are for the pet lunches as well. Mini biscuits every time that goes off. So mini rings and mini fingers. Um, most probably a bit iffy if I can send the girls with those more likely that um, and I can send the girls with these Barney Bears their packed lunches have to be healthy but they are allowed one treat in there so I put like one pack of them in or a Barney Bear in and these Barney Bears were on offer so I got two packs then back here two lots of nine pack of toilet roll they're two for six pound um, I have still got um, most probably six upstairs but once the last packs open I like to buy more um, nothing worse than running out of toilet roll, is there? Um, two packs of buttons, two lots of shower gels. So this one I buy quite a lot is the rainbow candy and coconut cream. Really nice. And this one, I said it wrong last time. I said it was shells, but it actually says shello. And that is sea sparkles and water lily. Then I just fancied a cake this week. So I've got a red velvet cake. I really like red velvet, so... So well, let's have a treat. Can't beat a cup of tea with a bit of cake, can you? So that's that. Then again, I still couldn't buy the Harry Bow, but you can still see end of summer holidays, and we've still got all those left. Haven't done bad. Um, but all of these have gone that I bought last week. So I bought five packs of the pick and mix, they're five for a pound, and five packs of the unicorn foams. And lastly, I got some whisper bars and some Kit Kats, they can just go in here as well. So that is everything on this week's haul. Sorry, it was a bit of a, I am so out of focus and I don't know why. There we go. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a speedy one this week because I've got visitors. So this week's shopping came to 79 pounds and 16 pence. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go put this away and I'll see you in another video.